it should be live. Yeah, fine. The more I prepare for this live streams, the worse they are. Uh, so I just go for it and I can't hear. Yep, the microphones seem to be okay, so it should be fine. We also on uh, Twitch now, which um, have to monitor from not here because that's what uh, everyone sees. Meant to monitor it from the creator dashboard. It's a live button. And this is uh, where the chat is. Just test the chat. And the send button is called chat. <laughs> Should be called the uh, send. Oops, it's the source code of this page. Should have the live stream in here as well. So we don't actually need it. We have our YouTube analytics. It's actually showing you way too much stuff I can handle. We're having some errors before. The firewall was blocking something. And there's still more errors. I might just ignore them for now. Ignore, ignore. They're very yellow and red and scary. GPT-4, which is timed out. Hello. Yep. Yeah, give us, gives us this another hour, which I don't have of a timeout for GPT-4. So I'll have to use the default model, 3.5. Hey there. How can I help you with biomedical engineering today? Yeah, okay, I told it to behave like a biomedical engineer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, are you are you a real biomedical engineer? Also, any chance you can indicate, I keep asking for this like all the time and it never actually works, but I'm asking for an indication when uh, the GPT-4 timeout ends. So, can when can I start using it again? And there's no indicator on the page. I don't think he can do anything about this. Yep. I'm not a real biomedical engineer, but That's I can certainly help you with questions related to biomedical engineering. As for the GPT 3.5 model and timeouts, there isn't a specific indicator on the page to let you know when you can start using it again. The timeout period can vary depending on the usage and demand on the model. You can usually try again after a few minutes if you encounter a timeout, but it's not something I can control. Just give it a little time, and you should be able to use it again. Alright, so we might be primarily uh, using GitHub Copilot for this session. So let's get it started quickly, because we don't have much time, and we go from there. So what were we doing last time? So we have this uh, Flask application We're using Flask, uh, NumPy, SciPy, SK Fuzzy, is the fuzzy logic uh, toolbox for Python. I'm still not sure how well this works. Um, there was something similar for JavaScript as well but uh, wasn't uh, updated uh, in the last like six seven years or something so let's run this one quickly 
didn't work there. Right, so we have uh, this game. Uh, if you haven't tried it out already, please go try it out. Um, it's a scrolling ECG on the screen, and you have to click on the, ab the abnormal uh, waveforms over there. I'll explain that in a sec. It actually should appear in here, but it doesn't for some reason. So it's the kind of stuff we have to resolve. I mean, it's technical, boring stuff. It still has to be done. Anyway, so hopefully you know how to play this game already. Let me know if I need to go over this again. And uh, currently we're trying to create a bot that will play this game for us. And then, I mean, you could compete with the bot or something, something like that. Uh, we're using it uh, with uh, fuzzy logic. By the way, is the bot still going? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's still listening. I think it. Sure thing. Let's get started with GitHub Copilot for your biomedical <laughs> engineering project. If you've been using Fast API alongside SK5Z Logic Toolbox for Python, that's a good choice. As for JavaScript tools, it's essential to stay up to date for compatibility. If you have any specific questions or need assistance with any part of your project, feel free to ask, and I'll do my best to help you out. Time is of the essence, so let's dive in. Okay, okay, short, short responses are great. Uh, don't mind you trying to be funny. I mean, not funny, just smart, uh, casual, funny. Not like ha ha ha, funny. You know what I mean? Uh, now, yeah, so we uh, having a few issues with the tool. We'll be trying. Did you want to generate the code or should I get the uh, GitHub Copilot to do it? Uh, we're having some uh, things not uh, displaying onto the front panel HTML. Yep. Got it. I'll keep it smart casual. If you want to generate code, GitHub Copilot can certainly help, but feel free to let me know where you need assistance, and we can tackle the issues with your front-end HTML or any other problems you're facing in your project. Just point me in the right direction, and we'll work on it together. Okay, so let's let's actually do both a workspace. Uh, what was the problem? So the problem was the problem was the output of the fuzzy logic algorithm. The output of the fuzzy logic algorithm is not displayed on the front panel HTML page, even though we have all the components for it. Clear? Yeah, talking to two bots, it's a bit hard. Still trying to figure out how um, Copilot is actually deciding what code to look at. Supposedly, when you put this uh, workspace, it will uh, look at the, all the files or not. Yeah, I'm still testing that bit. Right, so we have in fuzzy logic analysis. Are we returning results? We must do. Yeah, we're returning result. A front end. There's no link. You can just click on like the blue one there. It's a bit annoying. But this will be our game logic. In Ajax request, do we? Um, 
Do we have anything Ajax? No, why not? Make sure you're making an Ajax call to the server to get the result of fuzzy logic algorithm and then displaying it on the HTML page. Okay, why aren't we why why aren't we doing this already? Is sure we have a fuzzy logical answer? No, we do not. Okay, this is good. I have a fetch request. Um, do we have any get? Get ten by t. No, that's not it. Can so I suspect it's giving me uh, something generic. So based on the previous response, how to update this code? I do not currently have an Ajax request, but I do have some uh, get from HTML. Yeah, we're using fetch, ap fetch API. That's right in the display now. So why those are not clickable? It's pretty annoying. This should be clickable. Function. Okay, we're getting the element by D. Should And that should be okay. Check the IDs. Those IDs do not match. The IDs do not match. A click modify using Copilot, but then do we always need that workspace? Can we show? Can we make sure the IDs match in JavaScript uh, to what we have in this uh, HTML? Should have been obvious, but it's not actually looking at the code. your HTML JavaScript, you have raw frequency, normalized frequency, raw peaks.
we do want to display essentially all the output of the fuzzy logic algorithm so we know how the decision is made can you change oh come on yeah so if you put this workspace it's determining the, what the structure and deciding uh, which information to collect supposedly from all the files but then seem to be either hallucinating or I just don't understand how it works. Display all the output fuzzy logic algorithm you need to ensure the server sends blah blah. So analyze it's a clickable link there. It doesn't actually work. What? Can't click on it. Why? Right, have to wait for it to finish okay so in Python I'm sure that the uh, analysis data function this is the wrong analysis that uh, all the output Um, wait a sec. This is all wrong. Is it actually looking at the code or what is it doing? So we have analysis data. It's currently not the function. We have it uh, mentioned six times, just a variable. Is wrong so we have process data response data return well we're returning it as JSON Not convinced it's actually looking at the whole code. I'm still timed out from GPT. Oh, are we? Yes. Until another um, 20 minutes. Eight, yeah, 20 minutes. Shall we see how? It seems like you entered DFG, which doesn't provide any. Should we see if uh, GPT 3.5 can write code? I need a broader context for this thing. And obviously, the GitHub Copilot uh, was a workspace uh, function. Can you explain the structure of the whole project? Yeah, we have the waveforms J. It's GPT 3.5 ever times out. What if we. And then we have this format 
document. Let's see if it's uh, able to resolve basic stuff. Generate condensed uh, compiled bytecode. Okay, we have the Python static, we have game logic, waveforms, templates, uh, index HTML, test by which we're not currently using. The problem was. So we're trying to display the feature values for frequency, peak, amplitude and the abnormality likelihood it's essentially what we have in here control shift C Uh, this meant okay I'll ask it as a question is this meant to be displayed on the front panel Ask uh, GPT 3.5 the same question. Copart says uh, meant to be displayed from above. Process that object contains the raw normalized various frequency positive P, blah blah. The multi values present the output of the fuzzy logic. That's yes, that's correct. You can display this data in your HTML using JavaScript. Yep. Why aren't this clickable stuff? Display results. I need an example. I needed to tell me how to do it. If I ask to copilot fix You end up there based on the chat discussion. What on earth is it doing?
showing in there. Well, at least this is bad. At least it's showing the actual output of the fuzzy logic. The amplitude is not changing. Should be one of those, or maybe this one has this high amplitude, but the. Uh, there is one uh, waveform, pre-recorded waveform that has a, not pre-recorded, it's uh, simulated, so it's all synthetic data, but one of them is uh, different. Not this one. Yeah, the peaks should not be normalized. No, the amplitude is changing, but uh, yeah, I get abnormality and defined. Yeah, we already had some prompts uh, for this thing to to improve. Okay, the peaks should not be normalized. The peaks. Okay, again, the peaks should not be normalized. I don't want just to not show them, but I also don't want the fuzzy logic algorithm to use the normalized peaks. Peaks should not normalize the one just not to show them, but also don't want the fuzzy logic algorithm to use the normalized peaks. But suggesting me just to hide them, but obviously that won't do it.
uh, based on symbols so it Still generating, why can't I click on it? Set it. No, it's not generating anymore. Should be, should be able to click on those. I don't know. It's not working. So fuzzy logic algorithm is in a... And normalize positive peaks. The normalize function process data, normalize waveform, as a logic analysis, this one. How is it getting it wrong? There is no function called uh, fuzzy logic algorithm. There is a function called fuzzy logic analysis. So is this, let's make sure this is actually using the not uh, non-normalized uh, peaks because yeah, we don't need to normalize them. Okay, just change <laughs> the same thing. And process data. Yeah, this one is taking the normalized stuff. So positive peaks, negative peaks. Uh, should be a raw wait a second so it's taking the whole positive pixel and it uh, has a subcomponent of raw and normalized so the question is uh, uh, when we When we do the fuzzy logic analysis, That's the API for the fuzzy logic analysis. Okay, I'm confused by this one.
how do we make sure that for the fuzzy logic analysis we use the raw uh, negative and positive peaks not the normalized version No, 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 it's not good. That's not good. frequency is wrong as well the frequency would not work anyway would it um the ideal would probably should be yes no so if we're looking at amplitude we're looking at the number of uh, negative and positive peaks um we should be looking at the distances between the different ECG components, the P, Q, R, S, T waves, and those should be within a certain range. Currently we have abnormality undefined. And why that is we have an abnormality value it should be that's what should be displayed and the thing is again if we select workspace and the uh, era it should look at all the files in theory so it's using used six references pretty sure we have abnormality Defined okay. I think it's a case uh, sensitivity. It might be a case sensitivity issue. No, that, that one is the case, just the text in the printout. Then everywhere else. That should be fine.
Okay, let's go HTML again, the ID in fuzzy logic, in the game logic. That line there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Where's the return of this thing? Fuzzy logic analysis. It's called result. Just change it like this. Oops. We have no mod, is no property of data. Can you solve this for me? No. Okay, when we have like 10 minutes or so. Right, it should be get to this. Right, this is better. OK, 
Okay, that's working. It should be 0 0.83. What? <laughs> it's bizarre. Super weird. Okay, can I get read? Of that, it's played all the time. Okay, might have to do this next time. Anyway, hopefully, so this tool is already on the website. You can go check it out. It's in the ECG game. You can uh, play this game yourself. There's a video of me getting up to 1000 points. Uh, you can see if you can beat that or reach that or do any better. It becomes, it starts going faster and faster. I think every 50 points it will increase the speed. And uh, hopefully sometime soon we'll have another tool that will uh, show how a machine learning algorithm and explainable AI in the form of fuzzy logic will uh, be playing this game. So you could compete with a bot labeling ECG data. If any questions? No questions. YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn. Uh, you can still put them under the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.